Hello everybody, Little Simmer here, and I'm back with part 3 of my Build With Me series. I have been having a lot of fun building this house, and it is turning out so cute. Um, I, in the community tab, I asked you guys if you wanted me to um, basically pre-record like the rest of the series so it could be done, or if you just wanted me to keep on taking my time with it. And it is 50-50 right now, so at the moment I'm just going to do the one part. And as the day unfolds, if more votes go towards the finisher up um, option, then I will do just that. I will finish her up. But at the moment, we're just going to keep on going. So I think for this part, I want to do up the outside, like the garden and things like that. So to do that, we're going to go all the way down to the foundation and to to do that, to go up between floors, you can either do the page up to go up or page down key to go down, or you can do it the hard way and do that. But if you if you hover over all of these things, it'll tell you what um what key on your keyboard to press. So it just it's just, it's just easier to use the keyboard. So page up to go up one floor and page down to go down a floor. So we're going to go down to the foundation and we're going to get started here. So I want to make a driveway and a walkway and to make sure that you know some people like to go in here and we're going to turn the brush softness up. I'm going to pick a random one here. And they'll, you know, take their time to make sure that it's, you know, clean cut and everything like that. You could do that. Or you can do this a little trick. Go to floors and ceilings. Pick a random floor because we're going to delete it later. And we're going to outline here. And then we're going to go over here. Um, yeah, we'll do that. And then right there. And now if you go into terrain paints, go to stones and pavers. <coughs> Pardon me. I think I'm going to use I'm going to use this uh, this concrete footpath. It came with supernatural. Or you can use this side to walk on. It gets it gives the same effect. Um, but I'm going to use this one. Okay, it, it just came with Supernatural. And I'm going to use the big square. And so if you fill it in. Just like so. And then you press the letter K on your keyboard. Voila. Delete all of that. Look at that. It gives you a perfectly clear straight path. And it was really easy to do. So now, another thing I like to do, we go to dirt and sand. I'm going to do light dirt. And I'm going to turn the softest down a little bit. Let's see how that looks. That looks good. I guess like to... Um, outline of course it's being difficult and going all over the place it doesn't matter if it goes all over the place because it's dirt dirt tends to go all over the place so we're going to maybe for this we will maybe for the corners right here we'll turn it up there we go turn it down again I guess like to outline my walkways and stuff like that with, with dirt. And if some gets on your sidewalk, that's perfectly fine because it's dirt. Dirt's not supposed to be clean. And then for the corner right here, I'm going to turn the softness up a little bit more. Because we're going to put some shrubs that, that lines that right there. 
so I want the strength to be a little bit more. All right, and then actually go back into terrain paints. We're gonna fill, I filled that in with dirt. Voila. So now we're getting started here. And actually another thing I wanna do, I wanna put a couple of spots right there. That's gonna indicate um, we're gonna put a couple of shrubs right there. And then we'll put a tree right there. A little tree right there. And I think the backyard has, has a couple of trees, but we'll put a tree right there. All right. So I guess I like to put those dots to indicate where I want to put my trees. So first things first, let's go into shrubs and you can use anything you want. I tend to use the huckleberry bush a lot to line these. Um, but the first thing we need to do, go to control shift C and we're going to put move objects on for this. So move objects space on. That way you can place things without, you know, there being a message that you can't. So I'm going to do the hedge. You, but you can do literally any of these that you want. You can do a topiary plant, anything you have. But I'm going to use this base game one because I like how it looks. So literally just... line it. Voila. Look at that. Look how pretty. Alright. So another thing I like to do, if you go back, and if you go into rocks, we're going to line everything else with rocks. And it's going to look really pretty. Alright. Also, if you press the letter Alt on your, or the number not letter, not number. If you press the alt key, you can freely place things without it snapping into the grid. So that's how I do that. Just press alt while you're moving it, and it should work. Alrighty. So, let's get started here. And we're I'm just going to space these out. So it doesn't look like I used the same one over and over again. that and I think over here I'm going to do these every other one because I'm going to put some pretty flowers in between. Okay. And now let's put some of these the the bigger ones in. That and just like that. And then some of these. Actually, this one's a little further back than I would like it to be. We'll go back in here. Put that back. And then... Voila! You got yourself a nice pretty little rock path here. Sorry, I'm just trying to make it look nice. All right. So, boom. There we go. It's starting to come together. Okie dokie. So over here, if you go into flowers, 
my one of my favorite things to do if I can find the if I can find the one that I usually use this lavender I think it came with island paradise I'm gonna use it every other rock I'm just gonna place it look at that let's go up a little bit beautiful all right so and then over here let's go back into shrubs i think i'm gonna use let's see what these look like do we want that one or do we want this one you can use either one i think i'm gonna use this it came with pets it looks like i think that's yeah it came with pets it's the Ariel Buford Holly Tree, but you can use literally any of these tall ones. But I'm going to use this one. I'm just going to put it right there. Right there. Beautiful. And then over here, we're gonna just going to put some more flowers. And something I really like to do, I really like to put these purple heathers in here. It gives the effect of grass, I think. And then you can literally put any flowers in here that you want. Um, let me just go through these. Hmm. These purple hydrangeas are really pretty. So we'll put that right there. Let's go into shrubs and see what they have going on in here. Hmm. Just go back into flowers. And you can even put um, the hydrangea is base plant or ba base plant <laughs> base game, so you should shouldn't have any problems. With that, I think I'm going to put a couple of these in, and you can even put some, um, you can put some lazy daisies in here. Um, what else? Hmm. Well, that's got some content. I'm gonna put some of these. These are really pretty. I love these flowers. So we'll put those right there. And then we'll bring our lavender up a little bit. And we can put another one of these here at the end. This one is base game two. It's called Agap. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Agapanthus. You can even put some some of that there, or some some of those. Whatever your little heart desires. Alrighty. So. Let's go all the way up. Let's go back here. Look at look at her. Look at that. Beautiful. So I'm going to turn move objects back on. Move objects off, actually. So we can make sure that our mailbox will fit comfortably in here. I'm just going to put it right here, close enough to where they can find it. And then I'll just put the I'll just put the trash can beside the garage there. Alrighty. So if you go into trees, there's a couple of options. I think I'm gonna use some trees that came with pets. I'm gonna put this yellow cottonwood tree here. And over here, I think. Hmm. 
this one's really pretty. It came with, um, I think that's Ambitions. It's the birch tree. I'm going to put that right there. And then for the back. Let's see. I don't want it to be too big. So that one, we don't need anything that big. Maybe this one. It's also, I think this is also a pets one. It's the cottonwood tree. I'm just going to put that right there. Beautiful, Hanny. Beautiful. Alrighty. It's not going to be in the backyard, I don't think. Because the backyard's not, I'm not going to make the backyard very big. Um, so, there we go. Beautiful. Um. I think I'm going to end this one here. Mm. Actually, you know what? I think we have time to get the siding and everything up on the... Um... Oh, I need to get the picture that I have of what this is supposed to look like. Okay. Alrighty, so we haven't done the floor plan at all, have we? So I want to put some stairs in here. And so you press the letter E on your keyboard and copy these. And we're just going to make them one. And I think I'm going to turn my grid off here. I think I'm going to do that. Or no. I had it like this way. That's right. There we go. Perfect. So I just put them right there. And then I think this is going to be our kitchen. It's not a very big kitchen, but you don't need... Kitchens don't need much. And then we'll put really pretty sliding door right here and we can put like a dining room table in this area and then this area can be our living room does that sound good does that sound good to everybody that sounds good to me so we're gonna put a sliding door right here so if you go into doors and I'm gonna make this bigger so I can see you can use literally any sliding door you want there's this pretty one that came with pets um, there's a base game one, there's one, you can even use this one, I have a couple of custom content ones, but I'm not going to use those. Um, where's the one, where's the really pretty one that came with Seasons right here? I think I'm going to use the one that came with Seasons, but honey, you can use any door you want, but I'm going to use this one because it's really pretty. And I'm just going to put it right there. And voila. And I think I'm going to copy this window. And I think I'm going to put it in the kitchen. And that's going to be where the, um, it's going to be where the sink is. So, yeah, that's not a very big kitchen, is it? <laughs> um, so maybe we could put this over here to give more of a, yeah, I like that better. That way we can put some more counters over this on this on this side. Perfect. So if we go upstairs, we need to get some flooring going on up here so it's not confusing. So we just get, let's just get this carpet. Oh. If you see these things up here that's just from the garage so you can just delete those it doesn't get rid of the garage it just get, gets away get, it just takes away that part. so we're gonna do that and that and over here beautiful and then we're gonna have a really pretty um overhead right there little balcony not balcony what is that uh, I guess it would be a balcony. 
All right, so let's go into walls. Let's start. Let's get cracking here. So let's turn. I'm gonna turn my grid back on so you guys can see. So we're just gonna go up by four, over by one. Up by two? No. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this looks different. Let's go up. Cut that off. Go over like that. That can be a little community bathroom or a washer and dryer room. You can make it that. So, sorry guys, I have a floor plan laid out and it's not, it's not going to work anymore. That's a very skinny room. So maybe we can put a bathroom right there. And then Well, that still doesn't work. <laughs> hmm. I gotta say, this is stumping me. I usually don't take this long to make um, floor plans. <laughs> so I think what we're gonna do, we're just gonna put that right there. That can be like a community bathroom, and this is gonna be the the family or the the master bathroom and then no oh my goodness let's just cut it off right there and then we'll make There. Perfect. So this is a little bit bigger than what I wanted the bathroom to be, but it's <laughs> the the floor plan was giving me a hard time. So the hallway is not going to be very big. 
so that's going to be an issue. Um, we could delete that and go over like that. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, so again, the hallway is not very big, but it's fine. So I'm going to end this video here. It's, um, it was, this part was longer than I wanted to, than I wanted it to be, but we got a lot accomplished in this, in this amount of time. So I'm going to leave this video here and I think I'm going to pre, I think I'm going to pre-record the next part. And I think the next part's going to be us doing up the inside, like getting the siding and, or not the siding, <laughs> getting the, the wallpaper done and getting the floors done and things like that. So if you guys enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and comment and subscribe if you're new. And I will be back in the next one. Bye guys.